It has been said that the Orang Laut lived sometimes on land and sometimes at sea. Wherever they went, they carried blowpipes with small arrows of black hellebore, which were lethal. Their presence was felt in this region throughout the centuries, and their story has withstood the passage of time. The Orang Laut were a powerful naval force, and the Malay kings could not rule without them. In the early 1300s, when Sang Nila Utama, or Sri Tri Buana, was crowned, he forged a covenant that bound the loyalty of the Orang Laut with his descendants. Later on in the late 1300s, Para Miswara, a prince of Palembang, arrived here after a failed revolt against the Majapahit Empire. He had a close relationship with the Orang Laut, and when he fled to Singapore, 30 guarded his life. After Paramiswara established the Malacca Sultanate, Singapore became an important Orang Laut naval base in defense of the new Sultanate. By the 1500s, Singapore was a prosperous trading port along the Strait of Malacca. The Orang Laut were crucial to their success. They had intimate knowledge of the waters in the region. This meant they could control which ports the east-west traders called at, as they guided the large trading ships through treacherous channels, even as the tides changed in the middle of the night, avoiding the reefs and rocks below. At the turn of the 17th century, the Orang Laut were still known for their strength and fierceness.